simplest attribute of man i and coat by charles darwin good morning respected sisters teachers and my dear friends it is indeed an honor to present our assembly on animal welfare
welfare refers to the relationship people have with animals and their duty to ensure that the animals under their care are treated humanely and responsibly despite its current popularity interest in animal welfare is not a modern phenomenon concern for animal care and their well-being has existed since domestication which occurred at least 10000 years ago during the neolithic times we tend to assume that intelligence empathy and love are exclusive human attributes can animals think can they feel how do we possibly find a way into that question they can think they feel we can see the workings of an animal's mind in its behavior for example sea otters take care and teach their young ones survival techniques similarly killer whales teach their young ones to hunt for survival Albatross routinely flies six to ten thousand miles to bring back food for their offspring. Animals do take care of their young ones with dedication and are fiercely protective of them. We see curiosity and playfulness in the young animals. They bond with affection with other herd or pack members and live in social groups. Empathy is not just a human trait. Animals too. demonstrate empathy they take care of their family feel pain and are sad when they lose their family or herd members just like us humans their sense of self preservation is as keen as any human they have strong maternal instincts human empathy is far from perfect we kill and torture animals to make garments and shoes and preserve their bones and teeth as souvenirs many animals in captivity such as elephants live their lives in chains unable to display any natural roaming behaviors or move beyond a few meters these animals get bored and frustrated due to confinement they also suffer from injury and disease they do not receive any medical help and are left to suffer alone today domestic animal welfare wildlife conservation and protection have gained importance globally animal welfare organizations and local animal welfare bodies have been set up to raise awareness among people and to help people realize that animal protection is essential for human survival as well animal welfare organizations work towards the conservation of wildlife and the protection of wildlife from poaching they raise awareness against the trade of animal parts that entail untold cruelty restrict the use of animals in needless experiments raise their voice against captive animals being kept in cruel and inhumane conditions and the abuse in various ways awareness has been raised against the use of animal for sport entertainment hard labor and the mindless killing of animals for use in the fashion and for industry the ethical treatment of animals and recognizing animals as sentient beings are gaining global acceptance abuse of domestic and pet animals attracts state penalties in most countries in india the prevention of cruelty to animals act a law to protect animals ensures that anyone caught abusing animals can be fined and imprisoned Awareness is created to prevent cruelty, malicious intent, neglect and torture of pets and stray animals by human beings. The established 5 freedoms of animals listed by the Animal Welfare Council are freedom from hunger and thirst, freedom from discomfort, 
freedom from pain, injury or disease, freedom to express normal behavior, freedom from fear and distress. When we speak about humanity, it's the innate empathy that prompts us to care not only about members of our family and friends, but also to care for the sick, wounded, abundant, and neglected animals. Animal organizations take measures to provide them with shelter, water, food, veterinary care, and medicines, and ensure that animals do not needlessly suffer pain, fear, and distress. The significant action we can take is to adopt a sponsor an animal in the zoo or get involved with the animal welfare organization and extend responsibility to take care of animals. Thus, we can form a connection to bridge a gap between mankind and animals. A small contribution of money or time can make a big difference. Will someone care for me? This is the story of a pregnant dog who used to be very lonely. There was no one to care for her. She did not have a collar or family to call her own. For a long time, she did not even have a name. She wandered through the streets, cold and hungry. She had to jump out of the way of cars, run from other dogs and be careful not to step on broken bottles or trash. When it rained, she got wet and was very, very cold. She was a sad dog indeed. One day, discovered by the shelter workers, this dog was taken to an animal shelter, a place that cares for pets which are lost, abandoned or the ones given up by their owners. The shelter homes would then try to unite these lost animals with their families or give them away to new caring homes. In this animal shelter, this sad dog's puppies were born. An advertisement for adoption was pasted on shop windows and other places to find a home for the dog and her pups. Wake up, Izzy! Good morning! Get up and get ready. We are going to the shop today and you can buy any toy or dress you want for your birthday. Really, Mommy? Daddy? <laughs> can I really buy whatever I want? Wow! I like that. Izzy and her parents go to the neighborhood shop and look around. Izzy's mother picks a beautiful white frock and admires it. Izzy stands near her and happily looks at the frock. Her eyes suddenly fell on a counter that said cruelty free products. Izzy picks up a pair of pretty white shoes and looks at them admiringly. Would you like that? Izzy nods excitedly and asks, Is this cruelty free? Yes, it's not made of any animal parts. Izzy looks around and spots this small advertisement poster stuck on the shop window. It was an advertisement for adoption to find a home for a dog and her pups. Izzy's kind little heart ached. She asked her dad, Daddy, can they come and live with us and be my pet? I wish to have a pet for my birthday. The dress and shoes were forgotten as Izzy gazed up at her father. Her dad readily agreed and took her to the shelter. The woman behind the desk informed them that the pups had already found a new home, but no one wanted the mother. Izzy asked the woman behind the desk. What would happen to the mother if she did not find a home? Shelters work hard. Find
good food for as many animals as they can. Unfortunately, only about half of the animals entering shelters are adopted. What would happen to the ones which are not adopted? Sadly, animals who are not adopted may be euthanized or painlessly put to death. Shelters don't want to do this, but sometimes there just isn't enough space in the shelters or enough money to care for all the animals without homes. Izzy was very uncomfortable with the thought. She now wanted to take the mother dog home more than ever. She looked at her dad and her dad was touched by her love. They took the dog home. Izzy made sure that her new dog was well cared for. Izzy and her parents bought the dog a gift to show that she was a part of the family. They presented her with a collar with a round metal shiny thing attached to it with her new name Maggie on it and the family's phone number. That afternoon, Izzy celebrated her birthday with her friends and proudly showed them her new friend, Maggie. She had told them that she did not wish for any present, but if they put money in her piggy bank, she would like to donate it to the animal shelter. The shelter could use it to feed and keep the rescued animals safe and warm. Her friends happily agreed and their parents too donated money and blankets which brought a glow to Izzy's face. Izzy resolved that from that day onwards she would collect money and other items for the animal shelter and support them in whatever way she could. She talked to her friends about her idea and they too excitedly agreed to help her and the animal shelter by raising funds. Her parents too were happy and proud to hear of Izzy's decision. Her heart was aglow with happiness. That night, Maggie settled into her new cozy bed. Izzy patted her head gently and said, I'm so glad you're here now. I will always take care of you and other homeless animals too. Good night, Maggie. Maggie looked around her new home. Now, when it rained, she had a nice place to keep dry and warm. When the sun shone brightly, Maggie had plenty of cool water and shade. Best of all, she had a family of kind people who loved her and took care of her. Maggie was now a happy dog and all this was possible only because of Izzy's kind heart. Izzy hugged her parents and fell asleep happily thinking of all the ways she could care for homeless animals. Don't treat them like accessories. Treat them as living beings. That's what they are. Dear God, we pray that we could stop ourselves from buying products made from animal fur. Help us to buy more animal friendly and cruelty free products. May us make this world a better place and a safe place for the animals. Heavenly Father, we implore you to guard over the animals, especially those who are overworked, unfed and treated cruelly. Make us develop a heart filled with compassion and share our blessings with the animals by treating them in a humane manner. Amen. Good morning dear teachers and students. Having watched your assembly on welfare of the animals, I would like to say hearty congratulations to you, dear teachers and the students of Standard 4. You have prepared it very well and Sir Sam has edited it to present it in a very captivating and beautiful way. Well done. Animals have become essential part of our lives, as you know. 
when Miss Madhushri told me that you are going to have an assembly on animal welfare, what came to my mind is that it's a good topic. During the online classes, I hear you, dear children, telling your teachers, Teacher, I want to tell you something after the class. Some of you say, Teacher, I want to show you something after the class. And after the class, what do you show to your teacher? Your pet animal, either the dog or your cat or your favorite birdie. You want all your classmates and your teacher to see your precious pets. Yes, they are your favorite ones, especially during pandemic when you have no one else to play with. I too am amazed while watching you, showing your pets to your teacher and the classmates. What do you mean by animal welfare? It is the human concern and the safety and right of animals is the meaning of the concept of animal welfare. It is to create awareness among the people about the care, management and nutrition of pets as well as stray animals. Animals have feelings like human beings. Caring about animal welfare is a kind-hearted thing to do. Animals are the most vulnerable inhabitants on the earth. They deserve our strongest support. Today, animal welfare has become a major issue internationally. It's our innate empathy that prompts us to care not only for members of our families, friends and other people, but also for those needy and poor animals. There is an intrinsic connection between humans and nature, means animals. Let us develop a compassionate instinct for animals who face threat or crisis anywhere. Let us also pledge that we shall never harm any living organism, but we care for a nurtured life. Once again, I say hearty congratulations to each one of you, dear children and teachers. Have a good day. God bless you all.